How do you make a napkin dance? You put a little boogie in it, and this is a special edition of Balloon Animal Lessons YouTube Make Lab. Hello, Balloon World. I'm your balloon twister, Michael Floyd, and today I want to teach you how to make a flower centerpiece. You'll notice I'm using some special swirly colored balloons for the base. I'm using a regular 260 for the vase. And if you've been twisting balloons with me for long, you'll know how to make a balloon flower by now. But don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through how to put it all together. To make our balloon centerpiece, you're gonna need 11 inch round balloons, four of them tied together in a base. I covered that in a previous video, annotation here. You also need a small uh, water balloon filled as a weight. I just use a five inch round. A 260 color of your choice for the base that goes around the flowers. And we're gonna need to make three flowers, but no leaves. We're just gonna take an inflated straight green balloon and a flower and I'll show you how to attach them. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble our flower together. I'm, instead of attaching it to the top where I normally do, I'm gonna figure out how long of a flower I want or how tall I want it to be. I'm gonna twist there and then I'm gonna twist that spot into the center of the flower. The reason being is that this end over here where the knot is, I'm gonna to wanna to twist that with the rest of the flowers, giving me a steady point to attach the weight to. But I don't want this long piece here to be going so I'll twist a small bubble, give it a squeeze to give me some slack, and then I'll take that and I'll wrap it into the balloon to get it out of the way. Now I can break that off, let it go, and to clean it up, I'll just take that slack and work it into there. Now we have our flower. The next step is to twist the flowers together. We're gonna take them from their ends and we're gonna twist them together. If you're so skilled, you can twist all three of them together, but I'm not very good at doing that. So I'm gonna twist them separately. I got those two twisted there. I take the third one and I twist it right into there. This gives me a solid place to hang the weight from. The next part's the hardest part and we wanna do this before we attach our weight. Get the 260 the color that you wanna use for your base and inflate it about two thirds of the way. Let some air out so it's soft. And we really need this one to be soft. So another trick you can do is you can make an O with your fingers and pull the balloon through. And that'll stretch it out and make sure it's soft all the way through. Now what we do is we twist a small bubble, followed by a large flower petal. And you want your flower petal large enough to fit those three balloon flower stems that we've already made. So we need it to be pretty large. We also wanna make sure it's soft. Once you have one flower petal made, you do a small bubble and you make another one the same size, giving it a squeeze to make sure it's soft. In this regard, it's better for it to be underinflated rather than overinflated. In 1260, you can usually get three of these. So I'm gonna go for the third one, giving it a squeeze and I'm gonna twist that bubble right off the end. If to if you need to, you can work in another balloon, but I like to get away with just using one 260. Our knot, we're gonna pinch twist that by wrapping it into it so it looks cleaner. And you should have something that looks sort of like this. Now comes the hardest part of all, getting the flowers into the vase. What we do is we start with one of the petals on the end. Whichever side you like is cleaner. I'm gonna be using the round side at the top instead of the pinch twist on the bottom. You're gonna take your flowers, hold them all together as one big group, and work them through that opening. And up just a little bit. Get the next flower petal in the series, do the same thing. Last flower petal of the vase. And that should be resting right at the end of where your bubbles here are of the flower stems being twisted together. If you've moved it up too high, like I sort of have, you can sort of move them back down again and adjust. You shouldn't see any gaps in between. It should look like one fluid piece. Our next step is to take the water weight and work it into where the three balloons are here twisted together. Take the slack and work it in there. And we sh it should be hanging loosely, giving us enough room to work it into the base of our centerpiece. Still with me? We're almost done, don't worry. Next part, the base. You wanna take your base, lay it flat so all four pieces are on the table. 
take your water weight that's attached to your flowers inside your vase, and we're gonna slip it right in between two of these balloons. You don't need to twist it around very much because the tension holds it in place. Now you notice all the flowers are standing straight up, which is great if that's what you want. But what I like to do is I'll take the flower and I'll bend it by bending it over and sort of massaging that part where it bends just a little bit. This allows that part of the balloon to stretch out and we'll have it come up at a slight angle. You can also bend them in two places to give it a kink. I'm gonna give this one here over here a kink too. There we go. Flower arrangement, balloon style. And our balloon centerpiece with flowers is done. See, it wasn't that hard. We got to put together things that we already knew how to do and make something even better. If you liked this video, make sure you click like. If you want more balloon instructions and you wanna be kept up to date when one comes out, make sure you subscribe. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. This has been a special edition of Balloon Animal Lessons at YouTube's Make Lab. For more balloon twisting instructions, please check out balloon-animals.com. You can do them individually, or if you're so skilled, twist them all at once, which I am not.